As part of the phase of modernisation for the Animal Centre, one of the things that we looked at was our veterinary care. And for the first time ever, we employed our own full-time veterinary surgeon. We wanted to do a bit more than that and we decided we would discuss with Nottingham University the involvement of final year vet students. So it's really, really important that we work with vets that are going to be vets of the future to show them just some of the states that the animals come into us and how they would go about treating those animals. We're very excited about the opportunity to work with the RSPCA. One of the big advantages of working with an organisation like this is the sheer number of cases that the students will see, the variety of clinical material that they'll see. They'll get a, a feeling for how an organisation like this handles all these animals and handles the clinical material that's coming in. And they'll also be exposed to some cases of neglect that they might not actually see if they were in general clinical practice. We are very, very keen to ensure that our students get experience of primary care practice, but also charity and shelter medicine as well, so that they understand across society that there are animals that are well cared for, and then there are animals that are more vulnerable and haven't actually had veterinary care that may have been experienced by primary care practices. The benefits for the Animal Centre of working with the University are first and foremost we have continuity of care by employing our own veterinary surgeon. To work with the University opens up different avenues of specialism, but if we have an animal that needs some more specialist surgery then we can obviously look to the University to try and help us and support that. It's particularly important because obviously we coach them to treat individual animals um, and out in the real world in a setting like the RSPCA they're able to apply that knowledge uh, not only to individual sick animals but in a context of uh, a population where there are other real world constraints because of the different levels of equipment they've got, uh, different resources, different financing. So for the students uh, it's absolutely brilliant to be able to adapt their approach and technique according to the situation they're in which will develop their resilience for their future careers in practice. I'm really excited to come to the RSPCA and look at the bigger picture of how we can help this animal instead of doing every test we possibly can do to find out exactly what is wrong with this animal. Would it be better to treat and see if it gets better and to be able to using first principles veterinary and have this animal be rehomed would just be absolutely fantastic. Since the students have started at the beginning of January, we've already seen a massive benefit to both the centre as well as the vet school and the students that are coming here. We're seeing the students being able to operate within the veterinary suite under close supervision and they're also getting to examine animals that they may not get the opportunity to see so many when they're out in private practices. For the animals, that's meaning they're not only getting one set of veterinary eyes, they're getting three at a time and the students are massively benefiting from the extra experience they gain from that. One of the highlights has been working within Charity Medicine. I've worked within the RSPCA and it was just incredible. It taught me so much about how to be an actual vet and it really just makes you grow. It's just been an amazing process. Opportunities like this help us to build relationships with the future vets. We hope that this project will bring a greater understanding amongst vets and charities of how we can work together, our animal welfare goals and what we seek to achieve.